She might have one here, guys. Hey. Be ready. There it is. We were trying to come up with a name and we didn't really have any ideas or wasn't any divine inspiration or anything like that, but our concept was modern wild being that we love the outdoors, but we're also young guys and we love using technology and incorporating the social media side of things into it and just embracing it to a certain degree while still appreciating the, the history and the classics of it all really, but in the, in the wild of it all, this the outdoors. Modern Wild is just, I think it's just a call for a new generation of hunters. I think it means to me getting younger people, people that are in this modern day, and not asking them to change to try and be like the people from the past, you know, to hold tradition, but to try and be themselves and bring their passion into it and be themselves. Um, and that's what, for us, it was, was to be ourselves, you know, to wear whatever we wanted to wear. And we don't have to smoke a pipe. We don't have to wear plaid, even though I'm wearing plaid. You know, it's just, we're out there and we're doing it because we love it. And that's what Modern Wild is about, is just being yourself in modern day. My name is Aaron Regeer from Hackensack, Minnesota, I'm 32. My name is Adam Regeer, 24 years old. My name is Abram Regeer, I'm 23 years old. We are the modern wild. Early on when we were trying to learn how to grouse hunt and woodcock hunt with a dog, we talked to a lot of local grouse hunters that would spend a lot of time in the woods and we always got a lot of negative opinions about the woodcock and how they tasted like night crawlers, just a handful of night crawlers or they they flew poor and they were super easy, they're easy targets and just a worthless bird. Woodcock have become very important to us because on, it was boy. one of the first times that we have really gone out as brothers and really got deep into the alpine and, and kind of getting off the beaten path and, and going outside of what everybody else would do, walking down trails or driving four-wheelers down trails or trucks down roads or whatever. You know, we got off the trails and we got into the raspberry thickets following a, a pointing dog just going after it. and. Now what you enjoy most about woodcock hunting is, is in the fall you know it's one of those few constants that you can go out and typically find birds and be on birds when you want to be on birds and you know your dog's going to be able to handle them. The best dog in the world can get beat by grouse in any given day and that's, that's a lot of the fun but it's also fun to be able to admire the dog and what they do and take them out and just watch a pointing dog work when you can get in on a good flight of woodcock and see a few birds. It just offers a, an opportunity that you just don't get with most bird species and grouse are, are great but <clears throat> it's a <clears throat> grouse are a challenge and they are they are a unique experience every time you go out which is just really cool in and of itself but there's something that's fun about being able to get out and just let your dog go to town and be firing on all cylinders and just watch a dog work. We've been out so much, we've spent hundreds of hours in, on the trails um, after Woodcock. Um, so it's kind of hard to remember that one, but I remember, the clearest thing I remember is I, I, we, it was in thick raspberry bushes and I didn't have chaps and so I was, I was back about 20 yards from Aaron and was working my way up, but I didn't want to go in the raspberries because they were tearing up my legs and I had nice jeans and everything, it was, I was new to upwind hunting and uh, I don't think we shot many more. It was like two more or three more. And, uh, but they, uh, they gave us the, 
Um, they gave it, it was hard, it was hard to shoot them. They were very acrobatic flyers and, uh, but it was fun and Ren got a lot of points and it changed our view on grouse and woodcock hunting completely. I remember my first woodcock the memory is so vivid. That rocketing whistle into the aspen canopy, the still climax of a pointing dog's instinctual and relentless pursuit will continue to fuel us towards many memorable seasons to come. Not as glamorous as the bird from the drumming log, not as sophisticated as the covey birds of the south, but the humble woodcock is the essence of our outdoor passion. Many years ago now, inside these aspen covers, our appreciation was realized for the underappreciated, an appreciation for the Prince of Timber, the American woodcock, or as we call it fondly, the timber rocket.